Right, let's head to Washington now and on Capitol Hill today there is bipartisan action to potentially help millions of veterans. The Senate passed a bill to expand health benefits for military members exposed to toxic burn kits. News 5's Catherine Ross explains how an Ohio soldier inspired the legislation and what it could mean moving forward. On this vote, the yeas are 84, the nays are 14. The bill as amended is passed. Thursday, a legislative move advocates have been asking for for years. They serve our country, they go overseas, and now this is the war that has followed them home and we need to take care of them at home. Danielle Robinson lost her husband in 2020 to lung cancer. Ohio National Guard Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson was diagnosed in 2017. The way this cancer is presenting is only due to toxic exposure and he didn't have any genetic factors. He was a non-smoker. He was running half marathons about six months before his diagnosis. Um, so it was actually our oncologist that brought it up first. Robinson's condition was linked to his exposure to burn pits during tours in Iraq and Kosovo. Some estimate as many as 3.5 million veterans in Iraq and Afghanistan were exposed to the toxic pits. They were commonly used as recently as 2010 to get rid of everything from trash to hazardous waste to ammunition. Until now, the short-term and long-term health effects were not covered for veterans. The issue even receiving attention and calls for action from celebrities like Jon Stewart. Those that took up arms in defense of this country and its constitution suffered grievous harm in that defense. And when they came home, we put them on trial. Now the bill named for Sergeant First Class Robinson will head back to the House of Representatives for a final vote. Senator Sherrod Brown says it could help save lives. If an American serving her country, if American serving his country is exposed to these toxic, toxic chemicals, we provide the health care they've earned, period, no questions asked, no exceptions every time. And Senate leaders pledged to get the legislation to the president's desk for a signature as quickly as possible. In Cleveland, Catherine Ross, News 5.